It's SEC softball from Bogle Park in Northwest Arkansas. Sunny but cool afternoon for a game. Record crowd is expected for game two of this series. Ballpark food is out in full force. State had a win last night trying to claim the series. Arkansas hoping to get back on track, get an early lead. They had to come from behind yesterday, so there weren't many opportunities to run. And there's a chopper backhanded by Halverson. Strong throw by creeping that infield in against the speedy Sacco. She was in position to get there and then had a position to take over when you've only been playing at first base for the Razorbacks. I would agree. First base, a stationary position. Not so here. There's a liner to short. Lauren Kamenson helps out her sister and Nadia Barbary with that line out. She's able to increase throughout the year, whereas you see most players, they have a huge preseason, and when they hit SEC, they're ending up leveling out a little bit. Well, it's a ground ball to Gamble. That's a perfect first for Kamenson and the Razorbacks. Looks like she got a little bit of revenge <laughs> yesterday. Little tapper to first, but that's right in the path for Kennedy to make the tag on Johnson to apply the out. Hit a ball softly like that. One hit, I hit a home run over left field, and that was it. It's just like it snapped, and I got it. I think that's the fun part. It doesn't take a lot to kind of turn your battleship and turn your season, so to speak. And that is a bunt that'll be caught. What a play by Blaine. Made that play. That's a great play by Blaine. Coming in after not catching yesterday, definitely showing she wants to be behind the plate today. Thinking, darn it, they keep finding ways to get me out. Three out that of might be out. Strokes one to left, and it's on the berm and gone. Home run number 11. It didn't take long for Bree Ellis to put Arkansas in front. A line drive to the hill, and the Hogs ready to celebrate. And there's some of that fire that Bree Ellis brings to the table. And, and you know, similar to what we were talking about yesterday, I'd love to know what that exit velo was on that. I mean, that's one where the only question is it hit the top of the fence or not, because it was out and into some blankets, <laughs> into some chairs. And if you hit the it was hit by a pitch, part of an 0 for 2 game yesterday. But again, there weren't a lot of hits. She took that one off her kneecap, so feels like those catchers. They don't uh, they don't move much. Although that one, she's and the pitch from Marin, grounded to third. Spear by Barbary, and the throw to first ends the inning. But Arkansas. Able to start the scoring today. It didn't. We'll see how Cammons and Fair. She hit a really quick first inning. That one poked out to right. Carter doesn't have to move much. And retires Paige Cook. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think on last night, in the last few innings of the game, she's definitely being sharper with some of her pitches. She's hitting her spots and she's getting them to fly out, to hit ground balls. She looks really great right now, at the top of the second inning. So I'm interested to see how long she keeps it going throughout the batting average hitters in the SEC. So she's got two really great freshmen in her lineup. Lazy fly ball to center there is Johnson. So three fly balls, three outs. Where you're not seeing her average being anything crazy. She's hitting 254 right now, but her walks have really stood out to me and she did just get a base hit through the right side of the field. So she is going to up that average a little bit. <laughs> Indeed she will. She gets the base hit second. See what Marin wants to do on the payoff pitch. Hard hit to short, a chance for two. And one out, back to first. Picked by Kennedy, nicely done. Double play. She told me it was a challenge to find her identity not hitting last year. It was like a part of you was taken away. And there's a chopper to second. Big bounce for Hawkins, easy play, and they're getting in. So the Razorbacks got a hit. They sent just three to the plate. We go to the... Now that is something. That's serious. That's in the air to center, sending Johnson back, and she'll make the catch. I was curious to know if he's rolling ground balls to her or whether or he's smashing him. them. Yeah. A really good position to not only be in the postseason, who knows, maybe host. Ground ball to third, filled by Gamble. Strong throw, two outs. You know, these teams came in 17th and 20th in the country. Their record. And you start building that in these other sports now. You don't wait to the end of the year. You're putting all of those together. There's Halverson. Nice field and a flip. That's three perfect innings for Hannah Kamenson. Two for her last 21. Made a nice play defensively to win last inning and drills one to center field. It'll be caught by Sacco. That is at least two really good defensive plays for the Bulldogs. Reagan Johnson, who rolled out softly to first or only time in. She socks one out to center field. Sacco will track that one down. She was playing shallow. 
Got a good break, though. It seemed like that first step was a good one to make that play. Hitters that can bunt, hitters that can slap, who can run, who can steal bases and hit home runs. Pulled a bit of everything. There's a four pitch walk to Carter. So she was another 3 2. Hard hit to third. It kicks away from Barbary. No play. That's a great job right there by Bree Ellis. She had a full count at bat, 10th pitch. Miller hits one. That's a fair ball. It's off the glove of Barbary. Carter's going to score. And the Razorbacks have taken a 2 0 lead on a Kennedy Miller double. That's it. They were sitting 1 0. They needed that extra run based on yesterday's game. They need to keep pushing runs if they're looking to win. State was arguing that was foul. You see where Barbary was. The question did it go over the base? I mean, that thing looked like it was right on top of the base. Obviously, Barbary went across the chalk to come up with it. Miller at second. And Gamble hits one sharply to the second baseman, Hawkins, who makes the play. So Arkansas gets a run, but State strands a couple in scoring position. It's a 2 0 game. All the state titles, I mean, she's had quite a softball journey to say the least. A chopper to Halverson, quick field and flip. That's 10 straight. She came in there and stroked a lap. So all the outfielders have been busy today, and Kramer makes the catch. Two gone. Kamazin's done a wonderful job today of getting the ball. Three two pitch. That is a cold strike three. When I hit a home run my first at bat and he was jumping around like a crazy person. <laughs> High fly ball to right and Cook will camp underneath the fly out from Reagan Kramer. Pretty good swing but one turn late and Arkansas I think was surprised. And that one is a fair ball. Nice play at third base by Barbary. And Hedgecock's hit the ball hard twice. Nothing to show for. Phil, great plays at second base, really all around the field. That's a good point we'll follow up on after this high fly to St. Clair and left. And she will retire Kamenson to win the inning. State was dead last in the conference in fielding percentage. They've been flashing some leather this weekend. It's on 47 pitches. She's had just one strikeout, and that was Kennedy last inning. She might have struck her out twice. I don't know. But regardless, that's up the middle and in a center for a base hit. So the no-hitter and perfect game gone in one swing from Paige Cook. as she's It's only a two-run lead today, but this is when State does some damage. And that one's fair. Down the line and right by Blaine. All the way to the fence. The pinch runner, Bernie, will be held at third. The throw's a little bit offline. It rolls up the screen. No further advancement, but there's runners at second and third and nobody out. It seems like they may be doing exactly what they did yesterday. Right now, in the hit the ball too much, which could result in home runs, gap hits. I think she's doing a really good job so far with these few pitches she's thrown. Infield creeping in a couple of steps, but Langstock gets the K. That was a big strikeout for her cause. Big point in this game. Grounded to the circle. And a lob to first that barely got there. Yesterday, going underhanded. More taken off. Who knows what he might have said. I honestly was not sure if she tipped it or not. I could not tell from up here. That's a swing. That's going to be a out, a strikeout to end the inning. How about the job by Leinstock? The play at third base, and it has given a lift to Josie Marin and company. She's back out there. Arkansas sends up Halverson. There's another well-struck ball, and she's out. So she's lined to center, and she's grounded out sharply to second. And then Hedgecock hit into a double play. Strikes to Reagan Johnson. And that's called strike three at the belt. Johnson was hoping maybe that missed up, but Marin gets the K. It off. Sometimes when you're running out of the box, you don't provide an umpire that context for where it is for exactly. you. Exactly. And Carter with a chopper to first, and Arkansas quickly done. That is seven straight Razorbacks that have been retired by Marin. Find social media followers. In the like years of NIL, that's huge for her. So there's no telling what she's getting from that. But it seems like she's able to do everything from cheerleading to. Go. She's grounded out twice to Halverson at second base. Maybe another one. Things travel in threes. How about three times, three, four, three ground outs to Kylie. Play a third base as well. 
There's a chopper. Priggy again, the new shortstop. She's got a pretty good arm and throws on the run to retire Barbary. Three ground ball outs, shortening the game. Arkansas trying to add to a 2 0 lead. Enough to win the game today if they do that again. No doubt. Soft pop up in the shallow center. Sacco shading her eyes and she doesn't see the ball. I think that might be scored as a hit. I don't think it touched her glove. Yeah, Ellis is going to get the single, so she gets one back and a 3 1 pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Back goes Sacco. Leaps and she can't make the catch. And the carom comes back to the infield, so it allows Ellis to go to third on a double from Miller. Her second double of the game. And the Razorbacks in business. A couple of ground outs so far. And the 2-2 is grounded to third. Oh. And now Arkansas is in trouble. Saki, the pinch runner, should not have broken for home, and no. she is out. Not that quick. I see that so often at every level, baseball, softball. Uh, again, here's Kramer. Had a fly out her last time in. She's had three good swings. She gets a base hit and makes it 3 0 Arkansas. Kudos to Reagan Kramer right there. She didn't start yesterday. She comes in today. 3 0. Three good swings. She had one fly out, a couple of base hits in the same spot. And Kramer makes it 3 0 Arkansas. And that's a big pick me up after losing a runner between home and third. Absolutely. They definitely have the bats, or at least they showed they did last night to keep the game going, to give their pitcher a chance. Might be a double play. Well, that's two that Hedgecock uh. has hit in two today. So it's been a frustrating game. Arkansas gets an insurance run. We go to the seventh. Will three be enough? I wondered if it missed a tad down, but I mean, that's a dangerous hitter. You're trying to get her to chase or swing, but instead the count's gone full. And here's the pitch that's down ball four. So that's the first base runner against Morgan. Keep in mind for State again with a base runner until now. Absolutely, and that was a huge inning for her. Maybe one to get her confidence uh -oh. back a little bit. And a throw to first, and Adela's pin it on her wrist. She did. I think she had control of that. Absolutely. That is the third adventure momentum from building. Jesse Blaine, though, had a double her last time in. Rolls one to short. Priggy is there, scoops and throws. Two outs as Kennedy advances to third base. But now the game. And the two-strike pitch on the ground to third. It eats up Gamble. She's still got a good arm. The throw to first in time. Game over. And the Razorback shutout, Mississippi State. Three to nothing. What a job by Morgan Linestock to finish that one off. I mean, phenomenal job right there by Linestock to come in and close the game. Hard hit off of Hannah Gamble. You don't see that often, but she keeps going with it. Gets it out at first. I'm shocked they didn't review it, but great job by Linestock to come in there and finish the game for the Razorbacks.